Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is day one of 30 Days Lost in Space, a sci-fi adventure kit that teaches you circuits and coding. Um, now, I'm not new to circuits. I've, I've done some electronics. Um, I, I've actually got a GCSE in electronics from many, many years ago. So everything's changed. And I've never done any coding or working with the Arduino boards or anything like that. Uh, so this will be interesting for me to learn. Uh, now, the way I'm going to present these videos, uh, I'll be showing some of what I'm seeing in the online video thing, but obviously I'm not going to just do the whole thing because it's going to take some time to do things behind the scenes and everything as well. Uh, I've already shown you a bit of the intro video in the introduction video, funny enough. Uh, so I'm going to get on with part, uh, day one. Uh, in day one, they tell us we don't need any of the rest of all this. So that will go off to the side. Uh, what we do need is the board itself and the cable to connect it to the computer. Now I'm going to be connecting it to the computer that I'm running this stream from. Uh, I have a, a USB socket extended out all the way over here. Uh, so basically, I plug that in there. And then this gets plugged into there and now it's usb so you've got to turn it around three times that's traditional way of getting it plugged in i can see it actually goes that way around so if i plug that in there the computer makes some bleepy noises and i've got it doing things it's flashing for some reason but yes uh now i'm going to play a bit of the video as to what we've got to do uh first of all the this one basically is getting it connected up making sure the computer knows which port it's talking to and wires and things and everything else so I'll play the relevant part of the video and then we'll see how we go from there and see about programming. Ring, ring. Hello. I know phones are a thing of the past given that it's space, but incoming transmission. Are you there? This is Alex. I'm from Adventure Corp. I'm, uh, I've been hired recently to help you guide you guys through the process of getting your hero board set up that it looks like you've recently opened and discovered um, and the process of getting uh, the computer set up as well as um, the board and today I'm just going to quickly show you guys the very first program of installing that LED um, on board to start blinking on and off um, to verify that your board has been programmed correctly now before so I've been and downloaded the Arduino app which sits on my Windows computer. And part of the app is this blink code, uh, which is part of the, uh, where, are we, where did we find it? In the sketchbook examples. Uh, so there's lots of examples in here, but this is the one that they told us to use in the course, uh, the blink setting. Uh, now, there's two main settings to this uh, Arduino, Arduino programming. Uh, this first bit here is the setup, and the second part is the loop. Uh, now, the way I understand it, and the way they explained it, is as soon as you start running this program, uh, it plays the setup, and then the loop, and then the loop, then the loop, then the loop, the loop loops, funnily enough. So the setup just gets played once, and then the loop gets repeated. Uh, now, on this one, uh, it says pin mode LED built in output. Basically, that's telling it that for an output, we want to use the LED that's built into the board. Uh, I can show you on my screen down here. Um, that's the little flashy LED there that's flashing because I've done this Blink program. Uh, the other one's the power that just comes on when you plug it. Uh, so on the software at the top here, which hopefully you can still just about see, uh, pin mode LED billeting. Then we've got four lines to the actual code. Uh, digital right LED built in high. Delay 1000, digital right LED built in, low, delay 1000. Basically that says, turn it on, wait for a second, turn it off, wait for a second. Uh, so what you can do is change these values uh, to anything you like, really. Um, obviously the longer, the longer it will be on port. This is after the high, so this is after it's on. So if we make that 500 and make that, uh, what should we make that? 100, why, why not? We'll make that. So... My thinking now, if I press uh, to copy this and upload this to the board itself, uh, it will be on for half a second and then off for a tenth of a second. So it will mainly be on and that should be okay. Some other lights seem to flash on when I press this upload button like that. 
I think that means it's getting information through and uh, an error occurred while uploading. What happened there then? Uh, I can't open the device. The system cannot find the file specified. Right, let me see. I did. That is plugged into there. So let me just double check. There's a thing about uh, port. Let's put it. I don't know. Maybe I've changed USB sockets without noticing. Let's try that again. There we go. It's gone on there now. The flashy lights to say it's uploading. Then we get that on for half a second, off for a tenth of a second. So already after day one, we've not done anything other than learn how to use the board a little bit. But it seems to be that I can figure out how things work with this. Uh, so you can play around with the numbers and change them. Uh, I'm just going to change that once again and then upload that straight away. I've changed it to 1,500. So it'll be on for a second, off for half a second, then on for a second. Not very useful in the, you know, the to some total of the world, but baby steps. We're learning and getting there. And this has been helpful to me in the, trying to learn how the things work. Uh, if I go back to the full screen here, and then you can obviously see the numbers and things on there. Uh, it does give you um, things after the word, after the program, which by putting these symbols in, it just means ignore this. So this is just like user details. So it's telling you what it's doing. So when you make your own programs, they encourage you to put your own comments after. So people following can see what you've done, why you've done it. And hopefully even yourself going back through, if there's a problem, you know where to look. Um, to quickly show you guys that example, I'm gonna, uh, uh, I'll flash it on the board with a different amount than what was previously on there. So if I do, instead 250 and 250 and I upload that to the board again making sure that the uh, USB serial uh, is correct and it's on the right or COM port is correct and uh, that the syntax has all been verified um, when you hit upload it will verify it for you so you don't actually need to hit verify each time if you just want to upload it very quickly um, but if I click upload now and I've changed it to 250 you'll notice as soon as it's done it goes obviously much, much faster than before. It goes on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, as it seems to zip through. So that basically was day one. Uh, not difficult, but I, I like to think that they're starting very slowly and very easily to give people a good grounding. They don't know how much anybody knows. So hopefully that's that. I'll let um, Alex sign out for us and finish up. But uh, yeah. Recently. And so with that, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to give a quick outro and I will see you guys tomorrow and we will get the rest of your ship built up and started working there. So this has been Alex and I'm out. See you guys tomorrow. So, as you said, that's it for today. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. It won't. It might be tomorrow. I'm going to try and do these quite quickly, but yeah, it might not be every day that I manage to make a day to do things. If it's as quick as this, I might I might manage to squeeze in a couple during the day. But uh, I'll try and release them as quickly as I can. So I shall see you soon for more of the same. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.